Eivor, come in. Sigvrith tells me you've been hunting pirates in the north. Allies of Amar, providing weapons and other supplies. I've cut them off. God is truly with us. Owen is weakened, and will soon taste God's justice. Do you have the men to take Amar? We do, thanks to Sigfrith. He has rallied Vikings from every corner of Ireland. <laughs> How did you convince the Norse to fight for you? <laughs> I told them of a monastery full of silver to be looted. Your father would not have made such a promise. And he would not have raised as many men. You cannot win the goodwill of the people by destroying their homes. Or their church. But, my lord, these men came expecting a raid. If we deny if them I may, that... I think in this case some burning might be useful. Tell me how. When we were attacked at Clother, Owen didn't stop there. He burned Cashelor as well, to send a message. It is our turn to light up the land with fire and smoke to let the people know that Amar has fallen. Burn what you must, but keep your warriors leashed. Kill only those who oppose us and spare the church. As you command, my king. There is something else. Abbot Owen leads the children of Danu. So, the poisoning, the ambush, they're all part of Owen's nefarious schemes. We'll cleanse our man of this unholy filth. Siegfried and I will prepare our men. Join me when you're ready. Choose a good view, dear poet. It'll be a battle for the ages. Thank you for not seeing anything about my past. The past is past, not our future. I swear, Eivor, you really are like a hero out of folk tales. Do I have permission to sing your song? You do. Once I've had a chance to finish it. <laughs> it's good to see you take command. It suits you. It feels heavy and stiff like this new armor. I envy you, Eivor. When battle is done, you can move on to what you like. I go where my destiny takes me, Siegfried. None of us are free from that. There are worse fates than being a king. Our forces are replenished. Thank God's good grace. Some part of those thanks should go to Siegfried, Lord. Aye. I'll not forget his role today. He's a good man, but he lacks his father's seasoning. Then you must show him what it is to lead, Lord, in the court and on the field. Come, let us flush out this false abbot without delay. Yes, Owen must answer for his actions. There are fewer defenders than I expected. They cower behind their walls. Let's strike while we have the advantage. We move forward, but remain alert. God will guide the right. We have no other choice! Breach that gate! The bridge is down! My Norsemen are ready! And across. Smash! Lead the barbarian to me! Going to Pukar! Die! You got to get me straight! Brother, tell me! If they don't plead mercy, kill them to a man! Oh, my God. 
House of God, Flanchina. Or be cursed with his wrath eternal. You desecrate this holy place with foul corruption. You are a sickness to be purged. God will be my judge, not you. You act the Christian king, but let pagans and wolves do your dirty work. Do not preach about playing both sides. I know you lead the children of Danu. Do you? Then you should know you cannot win. My children are everywhere, even in your court. Who do you mean? Kira had the makings of a high priestess, but she was careless. Dabbled with forces she could not control. Don't listen, Flawn. It tries to cloud your judgment. Small wonder she charmed her way into your court. She's always been attracted to men of power. <laughs> you lie, devil. Huh. Love conceals blemish and evil. It's easy to lose sight when you're following a woman's backside. <sighs> There's no shame in keeping your hands clean of this filth. Let me do your dirty work. It's God's work. Protect your abbot! <laughs> Shall 
not let your cattle breed with a different kind. You shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed. Do not quote scripture to me, devil. May your tongue burn for eternity while your throat is pierced with jagged glass. No. You would rather have a song from your pagan poetess. If she didn't tell you about the children of Dan? What other secrets does she keep? <laughs> he tries to poison your mind with his dying words, Lord. Don't let them in. Could he speak truth? The best liars mix truth with lies. If she was part of that cult, she isn't anymore. You are right, of course. Ah, this fetid air befouls my thoughts. Let us step out into God's cleansing light. It is a beautiful land. We are a blessed people. Word of our victory spreads like fire in a dry field. I couldn't stop all the looting, my king. But I made certain the people were spared. <laughs> they will sing of the High King who cleansed the church at Armagh, and the King of Dublin, who fought with honor at his side. And the hero who came from the land of heroes who helped them win the day. All will be remembered, the living and the dead. What has happened? They have summoned Flan. I hope he shows soon, if only to end this bickering. <laughs> Speak. Lord, there has been much deliberation these last few days. News of Owen has spread like a mountain fire. The people are frightened. We are unsettled, to say the least. A trusted abbot unveiled as a pagan conspirator. The druids have permeated the church at the highest level. There's no telling how far down it goes. Something must be done. We must rid them of this land. Begin an inquisition. How dare you speak like this? Owen acted alone. He belonged to a sect. There are others like him. Do you deny it? I do not deny it. But then you will speak only of the children of Danu. A weed that grew from druid roots. If we allow it to thrive, 
How can we ever be certain this will not happen again? Flom, I do not like what these men are implying. Do not entertain this. You would presume to tell your king what to do? You, who share those druid roots. You even know this sect by name. Perhaps, like Owen, there is more to you than meets the eye. Bastard! Enough! Speak to her like that again, and rats will sup on you. Alive. Apologies, my king. Poetess. I do not mean to cast suspicion, only to draw a very real comparison. We do not know from where the next threat will come. And we cannot simply hope that it will not come. We must put aside our differences and come together as Christians if we wish to preserve an Ireland under God. Flan, if you do this... I know well where you stand, Kira. Are there any others who wish to speak? I will. This gathering shows us something very clear. That there is solidarity in this cause. If we do nothing, the weeds will continue to sprout, leading to unrest across the kingdoms. But if we act, begin an inquisition. It will lead to unity this land has sorely lacked. These are my people, Siegfried! And there are those within who threaten the very fabric of this land. Can you really stand there and defend them? Anyone else? What is being proposed is a bold strategy, the consequences of which cannot be properly weighed just now. You must allow time to reflect, Lord. Every moment we waste weakens our position. Lord, we kings are all in agreement. There is but one move to make. We will launch an inquisition. Every druid will face a choice. Reform or <sighs> exile. The future of Ireland is a holy Christian one. Where did Kira go? Set off for her house, just down that road. Looked mighty upset. Kira's not of sound mind. I need to settle her down. Kira! Get out! Leave me be! What is this? What are you doing? Flan, the spineless fool. What was he thinking? He saw an opportunity to unite the kingdoms. He seized it. It is what any king would do. Do not defend him. I am not. But consider what would happen if he ignored these allied kings. You're right to be upset. But you know Flan best. This was not a decision he made lightly. Let us go back and talk with him. If anyone can convince him to reconsider, it's you. Oh, I will. Whether he wants to or not. What? I am sorry, Eivor. I cannot let them erase us. <coughs> Eivor! Can you hear me? Eivor! Are you all right? <sighs> Did you see Kira? I expected her here. Eivor? <sighs> what is that? I think it's Kira. It must be. I do not know what she's trying to do, but she's angry. This is my fault. I must speak with her. It may be too late for that. 
She said she would not let you erase the druids. But what means would she use? The Lia Fall. I think she'll try to use it to stop you. The stone? It's an ancient part of the More to it than myths and legends. I knew my decision would upset her. I was certain she could find a way to understand me. It was no simple decision. By choosing one, you betray the other. Choices that weigh heavily require ample time to reflect if you are to find the best outcome. I acted rashly. I listened to frightened men before. Men whose loyalty I hungered for. Clear your head, Lord. We're nearly there. Kira! Leave! Leave now! Kira! You want to rid the world of us? I'll rid it of you! Flon, stay close to me. Eivor, what do we do? Fight! These are my men! Use them or you! Now fight! Back! Get back! They will not listen. Kira has taken the reason somehow. Defend yourself! <laughs> You can control Kira. It will consume you. So be it.
It's enough, Kira. Surrender now. Nothing but a ruthless traitor. Hollow inside. You speak of honor. Where is yours? You know. With Varith, his son, another pawn in this endless war. He is my blood. Ah, yes. And you will throw away all reason to defend what you are sworn to. I am no different. My people will live to see tomorrow, if it means I have to kill you today. make me add another. Do as you must. see the Druids into darkness. Why pretend to be my ally? I pretended nothing. I thought. I hoped you could be better. Better than Owen. Don't compare me to that demon! No. Look around you. You set in motion what the children of Donu hoped you could. You became the vessel for their plot. Always have been. After mother died, I became the last. The last who could awaken the Leafal. 
Never did I think I would use this gift so foolishly. What now? It ends. Owen, the children of Danu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power, and I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me, and there will be nothing left to lead my people astray. The old ways will return. Let me do this. Let me save them. Please. You may be the key to this power, but the stone is the source. Destroy it. You know I cannot. Your ancestors are souls in another realm. They will not despair of this stone's loss. Sometimes we must sacrifice what we treasure most to protect the ones we love. Bury the past. Build the future. Kira, I bow my head in contrition. I fail you. I failed you and the true druids of Ireland. For that, I truly apologize. I will speak to the kings and undo my rash decision. The land you have wished for is secure. I hope it is so, Flom. Farewell. Farewell, Eivor. Where will you go? How are you feeling? Bruised. Battered. But I'll live. Though it'll take some time to reclaim my pride. Took a lot not to kill you. If you wanted to, that was your chance. <laughs> I suppose at the end of all this, it's safe to call you a friend. See to it that Sigfrith's reign is long, and you shall never know me as your enemy. Have you met with the other kings? I take it that is why you have come. I have. The Inquisition is buried. High King is a leader to all who share in his land. You helped me see that. My only regret is not having understood it sooner. You work to secure a future for all. Kira would be pleased with this outcome. I know there is much that awaits you in England, Eivor. You can set your boots in Ireland any time you please. Farewell, Flan. Until we meet again. What do you think my father would make of all this? Barith wanted to ensure the Dublin he left you could stand upright on its own two legs. And while he could not see it through, he would be proud you did. I will never forget what you did for my family. Our family, Sigfrith. Keep well, and may your father's hooger be with you always. It shall with me.